Hey guys, this is Rad and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. This is episode... which episode? Oh yeah, it's episode number 4 of Minecraft Mini Blocks, a new series where I have to recreate blocks but in miniature by preserving their features and functionalities. In this episode we have a sponge, the of course not the restaurant lamp, we had it already in the previous episode, we have the lever and a cobweb. So let's start with the first block of this episode the sponge. So for those of you guys who don't know, sponges, they don't have only decoration purposes, but they can actually absorb water from a certain area around them. So if I place down a sponge here, you can see that all the water is gone and also it changed its texture. So this is how a normal sponge looks like and this is how a wet sponge looks like. You can see that the texture is different. Also, wet sponges, they will not absorb water anymore. So you can see that now it's basically just a normal block which can use this time for decoration purposes if you want. Now I of course created this mechanic and applied it to this mini block. So if I place down a source of water, so first of all, you can see that it uh, sucked up the water. Second of all, it generated those water particles when it absorbed the water. And third, it changed its texture. Then last feature is that of course, if I place another source of water, this time it will not absorb it because of course, it is already wet and so you know it can't suck up more water than this and if i want to remove it i just have to kill the armor stand and use the command blocks the command block to place another one and this time it will work again so carry on with the next block of this episode the lever so levers well you know guys how they work they can activate all of the rest on things that you can find here for example doors everything so for this episode i took in consideration lamps and redstone we have here the lever so if i right click you can see that it generates the same exact sound that it's generated when you use a lever. And of course it will turn on the, um, the redstone lamp and the redstone wire that is adjacent to it. Pretty simple. The third and last block of this episode is the cobweb. And I'm pretty sure that many of you guys already know how this would work, will work. So yeah, if we get close to it, you can see that it slows us down. And if we manage to go out, you can see that we we are working as normal. So let me now, guys, explain you how I recreated these features. So for this one, it's pretty simple. So basically, I am constantly running a fill command relative to this armor stand. Basically, this fill command will remove all water and replace it with air that is in a radius of one block uh, from the armor stand. If water is removed, then these command blocks are going to be activated. If water is not removed, these command blocks will not be run because they are set to conditional. So remember that conditional command blocks, they will execute that commands that they have inside only if the previous command block executed the command. So if, if this command block replaces water with air, then this command block will work. So if this command block will work, this one will work as well and this one as well. So every time that we remove the water, basically these command blocks here are going to generate the uh, water particles, are going to change the texture of the... Uh, of the block that is worn by the armor stand and of course they are going to give to this armor stand a tag named wet so every time that an armor stand has this tag basically the commands will not be applied to it so um, if the armor stand has a wet tag this command block here is not going to replace the water because of course we don't want it to work infinitely so the next one is the lever here we have an invisible armor stand wearing a lever and of course again a villager these villagers are saving my life because of right click detection so every time that i right click guess what a scoreboard objective is going to detect that i right clicked on it and basically what the command blocks are doing they are going first of all to change the pose of the armor stand so the, this armor stand is wearing the um, is like is holding this time is not wearing a lever it's holding a lever item and every time that i right click it depending on if it is on or off it will change like the rotation of its hand so the lever looks like actually we flipped it then every time that we right click on it we give a custom score to this armor stand which can be two or zero so when it is on 2, it means that it is activated and basically these command blocks here are going to constantly set a redstone block here. So if I try to place a block here, for example this, you can see that it's going to be removed. This is because uh, basically here there is a redstone block constantly placed and removed, placed and removed, placed and removed. And this will basically activate the redstone lamp. Now to activate redstone we have to do a different uh, method we have to use, let's say basically what I had to do I just had to replace the uh, redstone wire 
we've inactivated Reston Wire every time that the armor stand has a score of 2. When the armor stand has a score of 0, I have to replace this wire again with a uh, non-activated wire. Now, here there's a problem because, well, we there is no way to detect when a Reston Wire is, for example, facing north to south or east to west. We can only detect through their damage value how much power they have. If they have a signal uh, power of 15, 14, 13, etc. So, because there is no way of detecting if a redstone is like a corner redstone wire or a normal redstone wire looking facing north to south or east to west, basically, since there is no way to detect this, we cannot apply this command to all of the redstone wires. I can only apply it to the normal one. Then the third one is simple guys, yes it's just a uh, slowness effect applied to all players that are in a radius of one block from these armor stands and that's pretty much it. So guys that was it about this fourth episode of mini blocks, um, don't forget guys to leave in the comment section down below comments, comment with the blocks that you want to see next on this series. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode, if you did so don't forget to drop a like under the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you want to see content like this. As always guys, I want to thank you all for watching this video until the end and I'll see you all in the next one. See you, bye!